Steampuff, Finnegan's Factory is a VR wave shooter from Mr. Anderson, a division of Steelhouse Studio located in Tulsa. Finnegan's Factory originally released in early access on Steam way back in July 2016, and has finally released on the Oculus Store this January 2018. The game offers three stages, the furnace, the clock tower, and the train yard. It also offers three enemy types, the Kilimari, the metal slugs, and the attack in the box. You dual wield a set of steampunk inspired pistols which you need to cool down to reload. The gameplay is simple. Grab your dual wielded pistols, shoot the enemies, collect the power ups and health, and tactically use the pop up cover provided when things start getting a little heavy. Blast your way through the three stages and climb to the top of the leaderboard. I actually quite liked the steampunk art style. The stages and the lobby area had a nice level of detail and polish, and the pistol design and animation looked nice enough. But unfortunately, that's where the praise ends. Wave shooters are such a saturated genre that while this title was in development, other studios have come along and done it better. Titles such as Raw Data, Blasters of the Universe, Space Pirate Trainer, and Shooty Fruity to name a few. After 18 months in development in early access, what has changed since the initial release? Well, instead of originally only having one pistol, you now have two. And two new stages have been added, the clock tower and the train yard. But other than that, nothing really has changed. No new weapon types have been added, and no new enemies have been added either. It just seems like this is a sloppy release with little effort since the early access days. The commentary from Finnegan made me laugh. It's like, even he can't believe you're playing the game and coming back for more either. I admire your persistence. Really, I do. After around 20 minutes of gameplay, you would have seen everything this title has to offer. The gameplay is dull, repetitive, and there is very little variety to keep you engaged. Finnegan's Factory is one to avoid.